Hey guys, it's Jenna Lieber, and I am so excited to be here today to talk to you guys about just January and the different strategies you can be putting into place. Now, I mean, another thing I want to talk about is reviews. So towards the end of 2019, right, um, specifically around December 3rd, uh, Amazon made some really big adjustments, uh, specifically to just autoresponders, right, different things you can and can't say um, within your, you know, within your autoresponders, right? Um, you know, honestly, what our team is gathering is, you know, Amazon is really trying to limit that communication between sellers and customers, unfortunately. It just seems like, you know, they're making it a little bit more challenging. They're making sellers work for it. Um, so, you know, they're really just trying to clean up that communication from just what our team has seen. So, you know, autoresponder updates, for those of you that don't know about it, um, you can't include any links. Um, this has always been like that, uh, but I'm just going to repeat it because it's crucial. You don't have any links in there. I know a lot of people think they can get away with it, but Amazon is tracking that. They are scraping those autoresponders. So it is crucial that you are making sure those are removed including links to Amazon detail pages or storefronts. So Amazon is saying now you can't lead them back to your detail page. You can't lead them to the storefront, things like that. Um, marketing messages or promotions. So you can no longer say, hey, like, you know, you've purchased this product, like go ahead and reuse this code right here to purchase this product right here, et cetera. No promotional language can be in your autoresponders going forward. Your logos cannot contain any links in them. We work with plenty of sellers that, you know, thought they were being a little sneaky, having the link in the image of the logo. You cannot do that. Um, you cannot specifically ask for a positive review. So you can ask for a review, right? You can say, hey, can you please leave a review on my product? Um, you can do so by heading to the detail plate, blah, 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 right? Giving them an uh, explanation how to get there. Um, but you cannot say, please leave a positive review by doing X, Y, and Z. You cannot do that. Um, it cannot come off as you swaying them to leave only a positive review. So even saying something to the effect of, hey, like if you know, if you're not five star happy, reach out to us for leaving a review. You can't say things like that um, anymore. Um, you can't really, um, you can't encourage them to open up your email by having a clickbait like uh, email subject, right, or autoresponder subject. So it can't say the word like important in it, you know, things like that, action required. You can't say things like that. Um, Amazon see that as, um, as you really just trying to continue to push them to open up your autoresponders. Um, asking for the same re review repeatedly. So you cannot ask for it more than once. You can only ask for it once. Um, and then you can also not send multiple attach or you cannot send the same attachment multiple times. You can only send that attachment if it is necessary to complete the order. So for those of you that have eBooks, recipe books, things like that, um, make sure you're only sending that one time. And also all of the rules I just went over, promotional language, links, things like that, all of that also applies to your eBook that cannot be in there, right? So if you have any questions on this and you want to read more about it, go ahead and check out the 2020 communication guidelines that Amazon has for you. Um, that'll be really helpful in terms of just at how you take your next steps with autoresponders, making sure you're optimizing them and they are good to go. Now, obviously autoresponders had these updates, right? Um, and with these updates came a, a new feature for Amazon um, called request a review button, which is located in every single order detail um, that from purchases from sellers, right? Or sorry, from customers. So essentially what you have to do is go within every single order um, and press the request a review button. Um, so one thing uh, you're probably hearing right now is Jenna, that sounds incredibly manual and it is. So um, our team has been researching just different Chrome extensions, trying to figure out if there's a way to bulk request a review. You cannot rest request a review after 30 days. You can only request a review once. Um, so we're just trying to figure that out, iron that out. As of right now, it's a pretty manual process. If you guys find a Chrome extension, feel free to let our turnkey team know because we are looking into that, trying to find one that works. We've tried out a few and some of them don't work as well. So, um, you know, obviously if you guys find one, let us know, but re request a review is a really great way to request that review, kind of put that extra layer of asking for a review, really trying to remind that customer. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Here at Turnkey, we are committed to bringing you the ultimate best. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe by hitting the bell here. See you in the next video.